Hello and welcome to the second video in the ISIS Explains series. My name is Jamie Stewart. I'm editor of European Daily Electricity Markets here at ISIS. And I'm going to attempt to explain to you the, the concept of marginal fuels in power markets and explain why some power markets will follow prices within uh, one fuel and why a different power market may follow the prices in a different fuels market. So first of all, we'll talk very briefly about um, the uh, demand curve, a typical demand curve. This is a very uh, crude basic demand curve here. Demand for, for electricity, for, for energy in general is very low during the early hours of the morning. Uh, people are sleeping as people wake up, uh, leave for work, demand starts to pick up. Um, we have what's called peak demand through, uh, through the middle of the day there. Um, people leave work go home which is when we get our real demand spikes and then as 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 people uh go to sleep and those ovens electrical appliances are, are switched off demand begins to fall away again and that's a basic demand curve so this brings us on to the idea of um, generation margins and the basic principle that power should always be generated uh by the means that is is cheapest to do so and this is really one, um, the most basic way of keeping costs down for the end user. Now, one of the cheapest forms of power generation is uh, nuclear power. Um, it's uh, the, the fuels costs and therefore the running costs are, are, are very cheap for, for nuclear. Uh, similar with, with wind and solar where the fuel is, is of course free and therefore running costs are low. Now, nuclear will run as what we call base load generation, which means it runs uh, 24 hours a day through the, the low demand times and, and the higher demand times. Wind and solar power, of course, also cheap, uh, will generate when they can, when the wind is blowing, uh, when the, the sun is shining. These types of generation will pretty much be running um, whenever they're available because of these low running costs. We then come up towards the, the fossil fuels, which are slightly higher up what we call the, the generation stack. And typically at the moment in Europe, coal is a cheaper uh, form of power generation. It's cheaper to burn coal to, to generate power than it, it is to burn gas. So as demand starts to pick up, we've got our, our nuclear plants running, our, our wind and our, our solar. As demand picks up, we then have to fire up coal plants in order to meet um, increasing demand. Now the operators of these coal plants will pay a certain amount for the coal to go into their plant to burn to generate the power so they have to charge an amount for the, the output for the electricity they generate that will make it economic to run their plants and so this is why we have uh, the, the wholesale power price actually mimicking um, those movements within the coal market because as coal gets more expensive so electricity has to become more expensive. Um, at the top of the generation stack there again uh, this is, is, is a crude example of, of a generation stack but we have, um, we have gas fired power plants which are slightly more expensive at the moment in Europe than uh, burning coal typically. So as we get to those peaks in demand uh, the gas-fired plants have to ramp up in order to, to meet that demand, which means that the operators of those plants, they have to raise their the price that they charge for their output, for their electricity, in order to, to make running their plants after they've brought the gas economic. And so you get this pattern where the power price will follow the gas price. So let's take uh, the German power market, for example. Now Germany, um, as you can see from our basic generation stack uh, graph here, um, has a, a, a lot of solar power in its mix, it has a lot of wind power, it has a, a fair amount of, of nuclear power at the moment. Now all of these forms of generation will be running when available because of their relatively low running costs as explained. Now Germany um, also has a, a, a fairly large amount of, of coal uh, fired power generation in its in its mix and and a bit of gas fired generation as well. Now coal at the moment in general in in Europe is a cheaper form of generation than than burning gas. So as demand starts to pick up in Germany and and you need more um, capacity beyond nuclear and, and renewables, these coal plants will start to ramp up first because they're cheaper than gas. So the operators of these coal plants they will need to sell their power. 
at a price that makes it economic for them to run after they've brought their coal, after they've paid for their fuel. So you get this pattern where the German power price will follow movements in the coal market. Now in some other countries you actually have a different pattern for, for, for various reasons. Let's take uh, the, the UK for example. Um, the UK has what's called a, a form of carbon tax in place called carbon price support. Now this makes it more expensive for power generators to burn coal than it does gas because they pay more for the carbon that they emit. And this means that gas, gas-fired power plants, uh, cheaper to run in the UK um, than coal. So it's, it's a, the reverse to the situation in Germany and most other European countries. So as demand starts to pick up in the UK, you will actually see gas-fired power plants ramp up to, to meet that demand ahead of coal-fired power plants. And then when you get towards the, the peak demand times, that's when you'll generally get um, the, the gas, the coal-fired power plants, sorry, um, at the moment in the UK will ramp up to meet that demand. So dependent on what is the marginal fuel at any given time of day, um, the, the power price may look to the, the UK uh, gas market for its, for its pricing lead or it, it may look to um, the European coal market for its lead, dependent on which is that marginal fuel at the time. And that's why some European power markets will look to, to coal for their pricing leads, some may look to gas, whatever is the marginal fuel.